Hey, remember when there were only two Fan Fridays a week originally back in the old days of my channel? I'm going to have to do that this week because it's Wednesday and I'm leaving for PAX today and I'm not getting back until Tuesday. So let's just get on to what we have for Fan Fridays with a battle from Andrew. I mean, that team just wants to sweep. It just wants to win. Everything has some kind of craziness for the setup. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. So let's go and check out the Superior. Now, Superior... It, I don't see like any super threats to the opponent's team, but I don't think Superior is going to be able to get set up with that tentacle right there, and Superior goes for the glare. Not sure about that one, because Tentacruel isn't going to be fast anyways, and there's a Toxic, so, so train the status is right there, but Tentacruel, it's a special defense tank, and it leads really nasty. Also, with that Poison typing, it's going to kind of balance out, so Superior isn't going to do anything to it. Like, Superior doesn't have a lot of damage to begin with. It needs to get that plus two, and then it gets scary. So that first hit's going to be, like, the first Pokemon's going to be a two-hit KO, then everything else gets one shot. But I think Tentacruel would lead off as, like, a three-hit KO. It's it's that tanky, and I don't know why he's switching out, honestly, because he can take those hits pretty well. And now we come, now we bring in the Kinkelder, and no! The Leaf Storm missed? That's, oh, that's not good, because that's, like, a 10% chance to... I wouldn't say lose the game, but you lose a lot of power off of that. Yeah, there's a Leaf Storm. Uh, into the plus two, a second Leaf Storm could have realistically KO'd, and that's going to be a knockoff right there. So, Meadow Plate going to be knocked off. Interesting tech right there, and then Poison now Superior doesn't get to survive because of a Mock Punch. Oh man, that switch for the opponent worked out because of the miss. But I don't think you need to switch because, yeah, you just like Toxic Spikes, Protect. Um... You just keep spamming Protect, and like Superior wouldn't really be able to get too much, and then you get your Mach Punch in anyways, and you get a little bit more setup. Now, you do lose the Tentacruel, which might be a little bad, but you... I, I guess it ended up working out. You just don't have to risk if that Leaf Storm doesn't miss. So there it is. There's Drifblim with the Minimize. Our Drifblim into Muck? Oh... This is, this is going to be very fitting, potentially, because, hey, I just did a top 10 poison type Pokemon, and Muck was on the list. If you want to see the rest of the list, though, you got to check it out for yourself. And there's a Thunderbolt. So, ooh, no! All right, Drifblim gets the Minimize, but never mind, it doesn't get that chance to go, because Mega Manetric, very fast, uh, just way too much damage on the super effective hits. So, yeah, it's not an unstoppable Pokemon, that Drifblim. But, you know, it still finds its setup, and Muck even has Minimize. That's cool. Imagine if Drifblim could get, like, one Minimize, one Stockpile into the Muck. That'd be so free. And now we get to see how Muck deals with this. So that's going to be a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's going to miss in this situation. Muck gets that Stockpile. So it's like a more... Well, I mean, uh, Drifblim is in the Amorphous Egg group, I believe. So I wouldn't say it's like... It's not like a more Amorphous uh, Drifblim. It's like a less Baton Passy. Uh, not as fast, because once Drifblim gets out and Burden, it gets pretty ridiculous. That's going to be Hidden Power. Doesn't do anything. I wonder why the opponent threw out the hidden power against the Muck. Like, Thunderbolt is your best option. Muck's going to keep stockpiling, and then the damage is going to keep getting crazy as the Black Sludge heals. So, yeah, Muck is in a really weird position because it's best sustain in a way. Or it's like, it's going to have that Black Sludge for sustain if it's not already running that Pain Split. But on a minimized stockpile set, you know, it's like Pain Split, what else? Uh, you like to see the Power Up Punch on this Pokemon so it can get those setups in. And at least Tentacruel isn't going to be able to toxic or do anything to the muck so that's so much free stuff right here it looks like we're going to get that muck sweep i've been waiting for what are you doing i i think is the opponent already given up because yeah there's like nothing he can really do he can go into the concalder and like knock off the leftovers to remove some sustain but muck already has ridiculous evasion it's going to avoid all those attacks it's not going to get burned and it also has some stockpile so it's not going to take any damage and there's the power punch so, Berto is showing me that originally. He's like, hey, Muck gets that Power Punch. You want to see a Pokemon get ridiculous amounts of damage and go completely ham? That's what happens. As you can see, Muck hasn't taken enough damage where Black Sludge is, like, healing it back up to full. That's one of the crazy things about this. Muck going to get that Power Punch again. And uh, one thing that's really interesting about that paralysis, kind of helping out right now. You just don't want to risk that Scald. Like, it's a 40% chance, actually, I think it's down to 30-something percent chance to land the attack. Like, 36% chance to hit. And then you also get it to where there's a 30% chance to burn. Could happen. You don't need that on your muck right now. And the opponent realizes that's not going to do anything. Goes into the Kinkelder. And that's going to be a free power punch on a Kinkelder. I mean, muck's getting the stats. There's another attack gain. You know, like, that's the cool thing about this muck. It gains defenses, evasion, attack. 
That's going to be the knockoff. Muck's going to avoid it. Another power punch. Oh my goodness, that's greedy. That is so greedy. I would just go to finish it off before I have to deal with that knockoff again. Drain punch, not going to do anything. Power punch. Is is there only power punch as an offensive move on this Muck? What is going on? Okay, so Muck is, Muck is going for the win right now. Muck is going for the win. And in comes the Minetric. So, oh, I guess, I wonder if it's supposed to be, like, for the poison. It doesn't seem like it has poison touch, because we've seen a lot of those uh, power punches. But that would be crazy if Muck was just power up punch into that poison touch, had, like, pain split for sustain or something. It's going to be doing little bits of damage right here. 40 base power, now up to, like, an effective non-stab on that 160 with a tanky Pokemon. Withdraws, I don't know what the opponent's going for. It's just over. GG. Muck's too strong. Uh, Muck going for that power punch. Uh, Tentacruel is going to eat it, taking little bits, little bits of damage. It's getting up there. Uh, Tentacruel might be the tough one to deal with right here, unless where's that gunk shot? You have so many stats on that Muck. Just, just use it. Muck with that power punch. Also, it's interesting. The metric like just kind of coming in, going out. Not very effective. There's a scald. Muck avoids the attack. It doesn't. It, it's not gaining attack anymore. So yeah. I'm starting to think that that might be what this muck is going for. Now, it's really interesting because in a 6v6 or 3v3, you have other Pokemon on your team to absolutely deal with. Oh, there's the Gunk Shot, but it's going to be on the Protect turn. Of course it is. But uh, when it comes to like a set like this, having the immunity, you do have other Pokemon on your team that could be dedicated to getting rid of the Ghost. Unless you're going up against a modern Ghost type Pokemon team, you're in trouble. But until then, you know, it does work out. So now we're going to go and see the Minetric, and now and then we just go... Oh yeah, Shiny Minetric with Hidden Power Ice. Seems legit. So that's gonna be Thunderbolt, Muck avoids it. Gunk Shot is going to miss because Gunk Shot has bad accuracy. That's a Thunderbolt, Muck avoids. Gunk Shot, that's gonna land, and that is going to be much more damaged than Minetric has health left. I was gonna say, that's gonna be more than enough to KO, but I said much more because it's an overpowering amount, and that is going to lead to the game. So it'd be cool if we saw like the uh, poison touch into power up punch for the sweep. Like as long as you get rid of your opponent's ghost type Pokemon, it works. Cause Muck is just too darn tanky. They they do no damage when they hit, and that's if they even hit to begin with. So you can do this weird set and not be terrible. But against poison type Pokemon, it's also really difficult. Same with well, actually steel, you kind of hit super effective. I don't know. It's it, we at least saw the gunk shot, but then you lose down the sustain. So Muck is weird like that. It's definitely five move slot syndrome from being absolutely unreal but it can tear through teams which is why this is why i put it on the list so if you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys get ready for the last fan fridays coming up next